Alright, what's up guys, it's CI Chris here, and today's video consists of my predictions from the CDL 2021 Paris Home Series. These are the matches that make up week 2 of stage 3 of the season. Since the last predictions I recorded, even more teams have made roster changes. Empire benched Hugh, and moved Fellow up from challengers to their starting lineup. Florida benched Slack for Havoc, and NYSL benched Diamond Con for Hydra. For this video, I'll be basing my predictions off these most current roster updates. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. First up here, we have the New York Subliners versus the London Royal Ravens. This series, I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the New York Subliners. Both of these teams made a roster change last week. London lost both their matches with their new roster, while NYSL won theirs. London also only took two maps total, meaning they pushed neither series they were in to a map 5. NYSL's matchup was also versus FaZe. They have also consistently been a top team all season. Them beating FaZe last week shows that they don't plan to slow that down anytime soon. London, on the other hand, does not look too great with their new roster yet. I think improvements definitely still need to be made for them, so NYSL should have no problem taking this series handily here. Next up, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This series, I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. The Thieves have looked really good since acquiring Draza and moving Kenny to main AR. They began stage 3, 2-0 and, and had a very good run during Major 2 as well. FaZe, on the other hand, has been in a slump recently. They lost to Toronto during Major 2 and to NYSL last week. They will be super fired up coming into this matchup and definitely be looking to secure a win. Because of the Thieves' improvements recently and FaZe's recent struggles, I think the series will be very close. I expect FaZe to barely edge it out though, as they are still a very talented team with lots of potential. Next up, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This series I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Toronto has been playing lights out recently. They made an insane losers run during Major 2 and beat Dallas again last week. LAG did beat Paris 3-0 last week, but otherwise have been struggling. They were able to beat FaZe during Stage 2, but saw an early first round exit during the Major. Paris also has not been performing that well recently either. Since Toronto has been so on fire and LAG has been so inconsistent recently, I think Toronto should definitely be able to take this series 3-0. The maps may be close but I don't think the Ultra will have any trouble here securing the win. Next up, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Paris Legion. This series, I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Both of these teams faced losses last week, so they'll be looking to bounce back with a win here. Paris, however, just made a roster change and then got 3 0 If this is the case, they clearly still are trying to work out adjustments with their new lineup. Minnesota, in contrast, has still looked really solid since Stage 2, in my opinion. They played really well during that stage after acquiring Sandy. Florida, in my opinion, also played and looked a lot better last week than they had in other recent weeks. This was who Minnesota lost to last week. The Rocker also didn't win Major 2, so they are still very hungry, fired up, and motivated. I think that because of this, they should have no issues winning here. I believe they will come out frying in this matchup as they look to further cement themselves as a top team still. For the next matchup here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe has faced a lot of losses recently. They are now at 3 losses after remaining undefeated all of Stage 1. London will be coming into this matchup off of another loss. This means that they will be down on themselves a bit coming into this one. Given both teams struggles recently, Recently, I do not expect this series to be close, to be honest. FaZe has been making mistakes, and their players are definitely unhappy with their performance right now. I think this will definitely show. I don't think London will be able to bounce back from a loss that quickly when their next matchup is versus one of the best teams in the game in the midst of a slump. I expect this to be nothing but a FaZe blowout, to be honest. Sorry, Zap, I love you, brother, but I gotta call this one a FaZe 3-0. And for the next matchup here, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Both of these teams made roster changes last week. LAGs resulted in a W and Empire's resulted in a loss. Empire did have the harder opponent though. LAG beat Paris who is debatably the worst team right now and Empire lost to Ultra who is debatably the best team right now. They won Major 2 and have been undefeated since. All the maps in the Dallas Toronto series were also very close. Although I believe Empire got worse with their roster change, I still think they had more talent overall than LAG. I believe they should be able to pull out the W still but it will be a much closer, highly contested series. And for the next matchup here we have the New York Subliners versus Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the New York subliners. NYSL will be coming into this matchup off of a win while Surge will be coming in off of a loss. This will give NYSL the momentum going into the series. Surge are a solid roster but have been having some troubles recently. They began stage 3 0-2 and, and didn't go super deep during Major 2. It looks like Looney is holding them back to be honest. He hasn't been performing well and has been like a negative X factor almost in their games. NYSL on the other hand has looked great with Hydra and frankly all season to be honest. They have been a constant top dog and they beat FaZe with Hydra last week. It may be close maps but I don't think NYSL should have 
have any problem securing W here with Surge Looney. I think it's possible for Surge to secure more maps, but with Looney, I think this is my best prediction. For the next matchup here, we have the Florida Mutineers versus the Paris Legion. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. Florida has looked much better during Stage 3, in my opinion. They were able to beat Rocker last week after returning Havoc to their starting lineup. Rocker have been playing good recently, too, and looked really solid during Stage 2. This means going into this matchup, they will be coming off of a notable W. In terms of Paris, they have struggled so far in the CDL this year. They saw a round 1 exit during Major 2 and are currently 11th in the standings. They also lost both their matches last week and they did not face the greatest teams either. One of those losses was to LAG, who also saw a round 1 exit during Major 2. Because of Florida's recent developments and the Legion's troubles, I expect nothing more than for Florida to take this series handily. And for the next matchup here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Both teams will be coming into the series off of a win. Toronto has been playing lights out recently. They won Major 2 and have remained undefeated since. Rocker, as of late, has been in the spotlight, but just not quite able to finish the job. They looked really good towards the end of Stage 2, but fell to Toronto on Sunday of the Major. Since Rocker's last matchup prior to this one was versus Paris, I do not think they'll be fully prepared or ready to face this team as good as Toronto when they get here. But they are a solid team, so it should be a close, highly contested series for sure. And for the last matchup of the weekend here, we have the Optic Chicago versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. I personally am super excited for this matchup. Both teams will be coming into this matchup after an undefeated first week. The Thieves, however, will be coming in off of a loss as they will have lost a face during this home series. Since Major 2, the Thieves have been a solid roster. They've been performing well, and I expect them to only get better as time goes on. Optic, as of late, has also been playing good and performing well. They have made no roster changes, though. I think that this may show here as they are good, but not getting that much better. The Thieves, on the other hand, I see making constant improvements, meaning they have not hit their full potential yet. I expect this series definitely to be close and go the distance just because of the Optic, Hex, Nade rivalry, but I think that these should be able to just barely edge it out in the map 5. Also, the last time these two teams met up, Optic won. This means that the Thieves will be very motivated, fired up, and looking to secure revenge here. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Paris Legion. In 11th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 10th, the London Royal Ravens. In 9th, the Seattle Surge. In 8th, Dallas Empire. In 7th, Minnesota Rocker. In 6th, Florida Mutineers. In 5th, the LA Thieves. In 4th, Optic Chicago. In 3rd, Atlanta Fays. In 2nd, the New York Subliners. And in 1st, the Toronto Ultra. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited to see how this home series plays out, and as always, I hope the Thieves win their matches. Alright, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below, and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.